Okay, Pharaoh's Craig. Oh, yeah. oh yes, my favorite side mission. If you actually miss out on this, you don't do. You can't get it for the rest of the game. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Okay, Pharaoh's so, Craig. Land in Pharaoh's Craig. Craig. Hey Pharaoh, I know that thing's in the in the distance, but I want to say hi to you before we fight. It wouldn't hurt to just go and say hello to Pharaoh. I'm hoping he won't be around. <laughs> but the thing is, he left something for us. A blue spinning portal of doom. What's this? And I wonder where it leads to. It's like a hole just opened up in the sky. Oh, that. It is a phantom rift. Pharaoh made it. What the hell is a phantom rift? Jormgen, the town where we met Duke, was an illusion that Pharaoh made. There wasn't anything left but ruins that second time we went there. It kind of makes sense if what we saw in Jormgen was from the same time as the ghost ship. Besides Duke, that is. Yeah, that's probably what happened. And you say Pharaoh made this thing? Yes. It seems like Pharaoh's not around here anywhere. He's not responding to my calls either. Hey! What's going on here? No! Whoa! That stupid kid! Let's go. Carol, are you okay? Oh, of course, of course, Captain <laughs> Douchebag. Ah, okay. oh, that's okay. Crazy. This is. Shormgen. Or the illusion of it that Pharaoh made. There's no one around. Could Pharaoh be here? Perhaps. Let's have a look around. Yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, I don't even know what this is anymore. Either Pharaoh had the ability to, like, time travel and shit, or he just creates illusions. But basically, this, um, this place is, um, <clears throat> this, uh, scene is voiced, though, because it unlocks a, um, a special new dungeon. But is like doesn't get unlock until the what end game. Oh, this is like the actual elder, I believe. Passing through. Or the um I'm sorry. the sage. There is no longer an inn or any shops in this town. Are you here alone? Yes, it's just me. You wouldn't happen to be the sage, would you? The humans of this town once called me that. Huh? But didn't the sage die? Shh. This is an illusion Pharaoh made, right? So that would mean this is actually the Yormgen of a thousand years ago. Yeah, I wonder if the lack of a barrier Blastia is the reason everyone else took off. How perceptive. Blastia cannot easily be acquired, nor do we have the clear Ciel crystal. The children of the full moon should never have signed the pact with the Intelikea. Pact? They agreed to bury most of the Blastia, with the children standing watch over the rest. In order to protect against the Atafagos. So then, the ancient civilization didn't collapse. It was sealed up. Well, I thought you were perceptive, but now I see you actually know nothing. W what Supervising the use of Blastia? Doesn't that remind you of the Empire today? Well, Estelle is a child of the full moon, not to mention one of the heirs to the throne. Wait! So then the children of the full moon must have founded the Empire! Please, there is no need to speak in hushed tones. The pact will surely be forsaken. Unless, that is, all Blastia can be done away with for good. But people couldn't live like they do now without Blastia! A certain type of life can be led, even without Blastia. Yeah, the inconvenient type. So it has always been. They come to depend on anything that eases the burdens of life. Yet even knowing that, you helped the people of this town to build a barrier, Blastia? I too was poisoned by the desire for greater things. I couldn't ignore the convenience. Now what kind of a sage does that? To be a sage means only to be rich in knowledge. I, too, belong to the Society of People. Being a saint isn't a prerequisite for leadership, then, huh? Well put. And the children of the full moon are no different. 
the role of supervisor will turn into one of absolute authority before long. What does that mean? It's pretty clear if you look at what the Empire's become. Anyway, nothing remains in this village. Not even Blastia. You are welcome to stay the night, if you don't mind the ramblings of an old man. Thanks. Yeah, sure, I might as well, dude. <laughs> Even though there's, like, no inn around here. Ugh. <clears throat> I feel kind of dizzy. I can't believe he kept us up all night telling those stories. Well, I was fascinated by his epic tale of the girl who fought with a frying pan and a ladle. <laughs> Rapunzel? <laughs> yeah, it's probably... I don't know if that's a reference to another Tales game, but... It would be funny if it was, even though it didn't come out, like, till, like, what, six years later? Estelle, it sounds like you want to hear even more stories. Yeah, well, you can count me out. Anyway, this is quite impressive for something that's just an illusion. It's so weird. It's an illusion, but we can talk with people and everything feels so real. Perhaps it's because these things really did exist at one point in the past. Humans could never give up Blastia completely, which has brought us to where we are today. The Empire was only meant to monitor the Blastia, but they started digging them up and studying them. The Antelakea despise the Blastia, but humans just can't let them go. It's some food for thought, actually, yeah. Good. Exactly, but it eventually leads to like the um, the end of the game where we kind of have to give up Blasting in the end to save the world. But yeah, it, it is a good point though that yeah, humans literally can't give up Blasting. It's like a, it's almost like a huge part of life now. So I mean, yeah, it's, it's really good food for thought. You never think of <laughs> you know. I mean, it's kind of like they kind of go in depth with story and like the hard hitting questions in the Tales series. It's more for Persona Zero than anything. Oh, hang on. Where am I going now? Oh God! Oh my God! All right, fine. Every time I see his freaking name, I'm just like, Oh God! You can just hear that reaction every single time. <sighs> All right, bitch. I don't like you, and you probably don't like me. But yeah. Oh my God. All right, here it goes. All right, all right. You can call me Kate Whistle for short. He de ho. I mean, I could probably forget about you the next day. Oh no. Oh god. Rita says something and here it comes. Oh my god. What's got your bridges in a, in a bunch, flatty? Oh, I know, right? Kick his ass, Rita. Yeah, he's like a really shy. You're one to talk, swooshy hair midget. <laughs> Oh, yeah, laugh at him. Yeah, you tell that asshole, Rita. Alright. Uh, Poison Ward, Paralyzed Ward, Stone Ward. <laughs> Why don't you keep your nosy questions to yourself, little Miss Innocent? <laughs> He's not wrong there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, what you won't know, don't <laughs> exactly right. All right, well, here, just take it, dude. Even though wards are probably, like, the worst item, though. You, you definitely want charm, though, but honestly, though, like, even, like, when I had them, I never saw use of using them. Honestly, stone charm might be actually useful in the arena. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get to the end, and then you just get stoned on, like, level, on, like, the 89th enemy. I, I, I know, it's just all kinds of... Weird. Alright, so... The items today are... What is it? A flare cape. A flare cape. And a flare cape. I... I... I, I, uh, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> all right, piss it. all right. God, man. I really, I mean, like, 
I, I get the free question mark? <laughs> yeah, that's all you can say at the end of the day. Okay, last one. Oh, thank fucking god. Last freaking one. Alright, where is, is Miorzo? Alright. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Ah, I have to do this manually? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> really, dude? I guess because, like, the position changes every single time, so they're just like, no, you gotta fly there yourself, bitch. Ah, fine. Miorzo, Miorzo, going inside a jellyfish. Eat me. <laughs> Please. Alright. So, oh, it's the final arms quest. Oh, that's what it is. No, well, I mean, it's good to get it early. So, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's right. So, the fell arms, basically how these things work, though. They actually will get stronger for every enemy you defeat. And then, um, when you collect all of them, though, at the end game, it unlocks their full potential and, um, another phase of the final boss. So, you no, know, that's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Greetings, Elder. What were you grumbling about? Oh, you've returned. Look what I found when I was cleaning my dresser. You had a sword in your dresser? Hey, but this is... This isn't just any old sword. It looks like, you know... Yeah. No kidding. Not so much the shape, but the vibe it's given off. Just what kind of sword is this? I was hoping you would ask. If memory serves, it is one of the seven fell arms of legend. You mean the weapon spawned by the 14-headed monster from the fairy tales? Hmm. I don't know how the story is told below, but here, the legend is as follows. At the height of the ancient Blastia civilization, an attempt was made to produce special weapons. Eventually, this led to the creation of armaments of untold power. Seven in total. <laughs> yeah, right! That, you know, it was cool the first time, and now how are you going to BS the fact that there's two more in this game? So these weapons are a legacy of the ancients. Well, De Nomos is real. Maybe this story is too. Is De Nomos one of these fell arms then? I'd say it's possible if what the Elder said is true. But if this really is one of the fell arms, why was it in your dresser, Elder? I can't remember for the life of me. It's been decades since I've cleaned this thing out. You haven't cleaned out your dresser in decades? I don't know what to say. If these weapons are really as powerful as they sound, it might be a good idea for us to get a hold of them before they fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, there have been quite a few sets of wrong hands out there lately, too. Might we take this with us, Elder? Huh? Oh, fine by me. You're giving it to us just like that? To tell the truth, I'm glad it turned up, but I've been wondering what I'd do with it. I've got no real use for it. Besides, it would be a shame to just leave something like this lying around. I figure you are just the ones to put it to proper use. Do you know anything about the other fell arms? Let me see here. According to the legend, the seven weapons share a common bond. If this is truly one of the fell arms, it may react if brought near the others. But De Nomos hasn't reacted at all. Hmm. Then perhaps it isn't a fell arm after all. Then how are we supposed to find them? Well, there's no point thinking it to death. So long as we have one of them, the bad guys won't be able to get them all, right? Maybe that's good enough. I agree. All right then, Elder. We'll take it off your hands. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. I love the design of it, though. It looks really nice. All right. Well, we're not going to be able to start on this until, like, maybe Act 3 anyways, so... Yeah, there's, like... Oh, God. There's, like, one in Relui. There's one in one of the air grenades. Um, Cave Mock, I think, has one. Oh, I'm trying to remember where they all are, because it's been so long since I've actually done the side quest. But, yeah, like, there's, um... But yeah, they- oh god, it's so stupid. I wish they actually kept it to 7, though. So they can keep it consistent, though. But, you know, since you have two more playable characters, let's throw in two more fell arms and make your life more miserable because you have to get them in a fucking new dungeon. Ex exclusively made for this version, too. Okay, so- Ah, oh, okay, we're finally done. Oh my god, okay. Hey, so I'm gonna go fucking take a breather really quick.
get a drink, because we're going to do a dungeon. End of Act 2. Ugh!